What you're gonna see in this video has been rendered out and uploaded also on YouTube. There will be a link in the description to see the video of what I created here in full HD, the best quality on full screen if you want to see a real close look comparison how good the quality is compared to one another but keep in mind the left side is the color correct one and the right side is the original file without editing now with that being said guys enjoy the video what's going on guys welcome to Chris's screw today I'm bringing you a brand new video and this is mainly how I edit my videos to just get the best quality out of your video possible so first of all I want to say that I'm recording with an Elgato game capture HD on the PS3 and I got quality set on full HD or 1080p and then the quality image itself to the highest as possible that is just like 13 gigabytes an hour recording but I'm never recording an hour so I'm not really too bothered with the 13 gigabytes however so what I usually do when I'm going to edit my videos always drag and drop the pre-made intro I like rendered it out so I only have one file and there's the curse intro what you see in my videos and the no scope glasses intro ultra this one is not full HD cannot really do anything about it but I'm gonna try and see if I can fix this Otherwise, I'm going to leave this one out. However, so, the intro was put in, and I'll leave it as that. I don't really do anything special to this. Now, yesterday, I recorded two gameplays, Black Ops 2 and MW3. I'm going to take Black Ops 2, the gameplay, as an example. What we're going to do to make the gameplay look 100 times better. So, first of all, we're going to minimize this. And as you can see in the Black Ops gameplay, I'm not entirely sure if you will find this, but... There's always a possibility when you're recording, you get like this ghost image on your screen. Basically, it's just a blurred out like your gun, but like blurred out when you're running out, uh, when you're running or anything. Just something on your screen that's blurred out, and it actually makes your <coughs> gameplay look odd. But what I'm gonna do is gonna put the gameplay side by side quickly, and it's probably gonna be a real struggle for me. Before that, I'm gonna really re rename this scene to um, color correction. And then the first one at top, obviously, um, original. So you can see like a difference. So let's go to this one here. Um, we're gonna scale and crop it and zoom out a bit. And then we're gonna take this one. And we're gonna move it to the side. I'm not entirely sure if it's like in the middle, is it? Hmm. Like this. Okay, this is a really good example. So as you can see, the one on the left is the original. Um, the one on the left is going to be the color corrected one. The one on the right is going to be the original one. Um, so what I've done is I've made a preset. I got this one from the internet. I don't know where or who created it. Well, I think this is a really good preset and color correcting it makes your game look 100 times better. So what you're gonna do is copy over these things. I'll leave them in the description also. So just speed up the process a bit. But as you can see, rotate HUE0, saturation 1.474, gamma 1.000, gain 1.164, offset minus 10,000, alpha 1,000. And you don't see a real big difference right now, but let's go in a bit back to the beginning of the video, where we see some grass. And as you can see right here, look at the difference. You got the nice smooth grass and you got the blurred, not really blurred out, but it's like flat. It's not like, it doesn't look like real grass in my opinion. It just looks dead to me. It's like fake, like plastic in my opinion. But with the color correction, it makes it look all 100 times better in my opinion. So as you can see, just quickly scrolling through, you don't see massive difference, but in my opinion, it looks more enjoyable. That's just what I think. I'm quickly gonna go and scroll through the scene when I'm camping behind the car. Should be here any second. I think now. Okay, here. Oh, you already exploded a bit fast. But as you can see, in just a second. Oh, here. Look how shiny this is and, you know, like, good red. And look how dark this looks like. The right side, how ugly it looks in my opinion. So with this done, the color correction, it makes it just look uh, 10 times better. And I could do it also on MW3. I'm going to quickly cut these scenes to an end here. You know, nothing special, just end them out. And I'm going to drag and drop the MW3 scene also inside. Uh, hold on. 
me put these here. So you know the top ones are original, the bottom ones are the modified one with the color correction. And in my opinion, the color correction on MW3, you don't see a massive difference, but the difference exists. And if you could make your gameplay look better, why would you just take that chance and do it? I mean, it's just all about viewers, in my opinion. If some of the people who watch your videos have to look like an ugly video, I'd rather just pump up the quality a bit more so it's more enjoyable to watch. But that's just my opinion. I'm going to put this one else to the side. Okay, this should be kind of alright. And then obviously drag and drop the color correction on it on the second one, the modified or the color corrected one. And I'm going to choose this. Now pay attention to the top left uh, screen here because this one's going to change slightly. And as you can see, the floor is a bit brighter. And we're going to go and scroll through the video. Because at some point, oh, here you can already see it. The wall here looks flat, grey, ugly. The wall here looks, I don't know, more familiar, like better quality colors. Don't see any difference in the dark spots. Let me quickly go up here. If you see a massive difference, not really, but I mean, the difference is there. Some colors just look way better more realistic here's a big example like this the fire lights up here the fire is kinda odd and flat plastic on the left side it's just more alive and realistic but this is just the way I um, edit my videos and then to make it important I'm gonna end it here but just to make it look better this is what I do normally do just to make the gameplays look a little bit better on the quality I always do this and then obviously I got my Rent out rendered um, outro video uh, if I can find it. Outro, outro vid, here it is. And I always put it here. So we got the gameplay playing, and then what you could do left, you could always just make it fade out or anything at the end. I just leave it like that, and then I just don't forget to check the link down into a run. So this is basically the thing how I render my videos, then obviously the important thing is what you gotta do when you're gonna render this out. Go to file and then go to uh, properties. Copy over these, witness 1.920, height 1.080, pixels aspect 1000 pixels, frame rate. You could put it to 30, I'm gonna do this 30, that's the best thing. Okay, um, pixel format 8 bit, full resolution, render quality should be on best, motion blur type, Gaussian, and then you know, copy over these. Audio is just the same, haven't really touched this. Obviously, save this and then apply. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm gonna go and show you the thing I used to render my videos, like the concept whatever and then we'll actually see what it does and if it makes your video look better or not in my opinion it does so we're gonna forget this one this, this is what I used to make my thumbnails but that's less important show favorites only so I've made a few or I've actually tested a few and I think this is the one that everybody should be using XD cam EX and I'll show you in a bit why. So back this out. I'm gonna search it here in the list. Um, here it is already. So I just picked random one, a random one out of here. I think it was this one. And what I've done is just put this to 920 by 1080p frame rate, obviously to 30 or 60, whatever you want. And then priority quality over speed. I've done low and then high. And then I've just basically saved it and just left it like that. But why do I did this? Basically, when it's rendering, it's not really going to compress the video like super. But it does compress your video and it renders pretty quickly for my computer, in my opinion. It's already in 2%. Um, let me quickly see what the kind of sizes is after you rendered the video. And I think this one is, has been rendered, this video. I'm not entirely sure. Let me quickly see. I think this video it has been rendered, and this is the video of what you're gonna see tomorrow. Um, this was the yesterday's video that I uploaded to YouTube. So 
already on 6% by rendering it. And just to point that out. Let me mute the quality or the sound quickly. The computer is lagging right now, but it's fine. Okay, so this is the edit the video, and let me see how long it kind of is. Two minutes and 50 seconds as an example. You could already see it somewhere here, but two minutes, 50 seconds, and the size of the video is 2.39 MB. It's kind of big. It's like 100 MB a minute, kind of, yeah. So about 100 MB a minute. Um, Kinda big in my opinion, but how big is, how long is this video? Good at checking it. I think like six or seven minutes. Details. Um, doesn't really show it. Anyway, you just see the file size is pretty massive, and in my opinion, the quality is really good. Um, the video recording is really good, high quality. So I mean, it's what you want to do. If you if you want to bring out really good quality video, you could do this. Or if you want to keep it kind of basic and don't do too much editing, you could just leave it like this, record it, edit it, edit the bad parts out, or just cut them out, I should say, and then just render it and then upload it to YouTube. I wanted to make my gameplays look phenomenally good in the quality, and I'm gonna upload this video obviously as an example to this, but we'll see how this is gonna turn out. Now, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video. Up. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Don't forget to check the link down below if you want to get your hands on these nose good glasses. And with that being said, guys, comment down below what you think about this video. And definitely like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace!